<laughs> on what it is, um, what a dysfunction would look like, some interventions to help um, a child with dysfunction, um, and what those sensory systems are. So what is sensory integration? Sensory integration refers to how people use information provided by all sensations coming from within the body and external environments. So most of us are able to interpret that information naturally. Um, so are you guys familiar with the dry eyes commercial, the guy who really talks in monotone voice? Okay, so you know they say hindsight 2020. When I was in graduate school, I had this memory, ah, that makes sense. When I was an undergrad, it was midterm final, midterm or final um, time, and my professor was extremely, extremely boring, and I was really falling asleep, and that could be a problem because I needed to do well. So what did I do? I got up, I went to the bathroom, I put some cold water on my face, I bought a cold drink, and I got some pretzels to eat. And sitting here in graduate school, like, I just alerted my sensory system. I was under aroused. I needed to arouse it. It all just made sense. So for the typical person who has a typically functioning sensory system, we do it naturally. We don't even know it. But for a child that has a dysfunction, they, they would just probably sit and fall asleep and not know what to do or how to regulate their own system. 